Hi cakers! Today I'm going to show you how to make the other kind of petal cake. If you've watched our channel uh, and seen all of our videos, you'll know that we created a signature petal cake design quite a few years ago. Um, it's a little complicated, but it's absolutely stunning. This guy is a little bit easier. It is beautiful in this rainbow finish. Um, it's known as a petal or as a cloud cake, and we're going to get stuck into making it. So now I've gone ahead and cut, filled and crumb coated a seven inch round cake to use today. I've also got five different shades of our sweet buttercream recipe and I've attached to the ends of them just a coupler. So we normally use this so that we can keep changing the piping tip. In this case, we're gonna use it exactly like this. So look for a coupler where it doesn't have any cutout section at all. It's just nice and round. And we're gonna be using those to create our little dollops. Then we're gonna be taking a small crank handled spatula and we're gonna be using that to wipe away all of our excess to create that really soft pulled effect. Um, now, if you're unsure about how many colors you should be using for the height of your cake, uh, mine is a three and a half inch high cake and I have five colors. And the way that I worked that out was that I simply took a little bit of our plain buttercream before I tinted it, placed it into a bag with the coupler and I just piped dots up and it came out to be five. So that was my perfect number for this height of cake. So now all we want to do is grab our piping bags one at a time and just start making little dollops in a straight line going up the cake. And then you want to come ahead with your spatula and just drag it. Now to start our second row, we're going to take our top colour, place it down here and just overlap by about halfway. Squeeze and then keep going with the rest of your colour scheme. And just wiping the excess on a paper towel. And then you just continue along. Now, just like any of our other lessons, when we're doing piping, if you're unsure where straight is, just make some marks in different sections of the cake and that will help to keep you steady. And as you get closer to the end, you just start by making your little swipes a little bit smaller just so that you don't bump into your first row. Now it's just very gentle. It's okay if you leave the excess there. You just want to give that same effect. And then your last row is just a dot on top. And now to do the top, I'm just going to start somewhere where there isn't any yellow. Pipe a dot and work my way around and do one full row. Add your next colour. And it's just the same technique working in towards the center. And then again, I'm just gonna start in a section that doesn't have that color, working my way around. It's not like the sides of the cake, so they won't line up perfectly. You'll end up getting less and less each time. So don't worry too much about the colors lining up.
Now for the final row, I'm just dragging very, very gently into the center, just so that all of them look like they're pulled a little bit. And then pick your favorite color, do a purple, and do a little dollop on top. And there you go, guys. We have our rainbow petal cake. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. You all know how much I love doing buttercream cakes. Um, so please subscribe to our channel. Check out our other videos. You'll find lots of other buttercream beauties in there. Um, we will be making more of them this year, so stay tuned. Um, thank you to all of our followers who have been liking our videos and giving us thumbs up. We really appreciate it.